Are you a wine drinker that's tired of being told you drink too much wine? I'm not. I love drinking wine. And studies show I'm not alone. Americans are drinking more wine than ever. In 2015, the wine market in the U.S. hit $32 billion. In 2016, it hit $60 billion and continues to grow. The problem we face is a lack of pubs that specialize in wine. Sure, there are local restaurants and bars that sell wine, but it's always as an afterthought and never something that the business focuses on. My name is Anthony Catalano, and I'm here to explain how our business, the Wine Pub, solves that problem by being a restaurant that caters to wine lovers. We'll offer a wide selection, the opportunity to purchase a bottle after you try it, and a knowledgeable staff that can help wine lovers of all levels. A few years ago, while traveling through Scotland, I wanted to find something nice to bring back for my family, so I stopped inside a local whiskey shop, and the experience wasn't quite what I had in mind. Although the salesperson was very knowledgeable about what they were doing, they couldn't get over the fact I didn't know a whole lot about scotch, and I didn't know the difference between bourbon and scotch whiskey, and spent more time lecturing me and belittling me, and I couldn't wait to leave the store. And although in the grand scheme of things, that interaction was fairly insignificant, it made me realize that if I ever had a hobby worth sharing, I would do my best to make even the most novice newcomers feel welcome. At the Wine Pub, we aim to do just that. We're building a business with a wide enough selection to satisfy the thirst of wine connoisseurs while also having a knowledgeable staff to help expand the horizons of the weekend warrior wine drinkers. Our mission is to provide a relaxed atmosphere for wine drinkers of all levels to enjoy their favorite beverage. We want our business to be a place that we could see ourselves drinking wine and a place that we'd bring our friends and family to enjoy it with us. The timing for this opportunity couldn't be better. The American wine industry has achieved growth not seen in decades. In our target market, the millennial generation, those aged 21 to 35 are far outpacing any other generation in wine consumption. Research indicates that the millennials drank nearly half of all wine consumed in the United States in 2015. That's an unprecedented 159 million cases of wine. And they're not just sticking to their favorites. They're trying new wines and expanding their tastes. We just have to provide them a venue to do so. Let's talk about our business plan. Our region's large target market and lack of wine pubs gives our business a strong opportunity to penetrate the market and establish a strong customer base. Our proposed location in Salmon Creek, a suburb of Vancouver and the greater Portland area, will allow us to service a geographic area with a population of nearly 1 million people. We estimate that of that population, roughly 250,000 will fit in our target market. The nearest direct competition is about 20 minutes away in Portland, Oregon. There simply is not a pub of this type in the area. Prior to opening, customers in the Vancouver region need to drive south over the Columbia River to enjoy a pub setting that focuses on wide-ranging wine selection. We anticipate our operations staff to be open seven days a week and it will bring in roughly 150 customers a day during weekdays and 300 customers a day on weekends. A recent study showed that each customer drinks an average of three alcoholic beverages per sitting. So as you can see, this provides for a very busy and potentially lucrative business. The pub will include an extensive selection of moderately priced wines with a healthy presence from local wineries. We'll also offer rotating beer and cider for our non-wine drinking customers. This selection will be more of a general offering, like a Hefeweizen or IPA. And we will partner with local breweries and cideries to ensure we always have an alternative to wine available on tap. Now the wine pub differs from the standard bar by offering customers a try before you buy experience. Our research shows that customers value trying wines before buying them, and 89% of our consumers said they would change their bottle purchasing habits if offered that option. We anticipate our unique experience-based offering can convert the grocery store, liquor store, and online bottled wine buyers into our customers. Most bars where people drink wine are high-priced restaurants where customers pay over $15 for a glass or at a local bar where the staff doesn't know much about wine and really has a limited selection. The Wine Pub aims to change that. We'll appeal to the younger generation by focusing on wines that are $20 or less per bottle, while still maintaining a small offering of more expensive bottles. Our survey shows that 79% of regular millennial wine drinkers purchase wine in the $10 to $15 range. 
Now our wine by the glass will have the largest profit margin and will be more than the wine by the bottle. Bottle wine or wine by the case is considered a bulk purchase and we feel it should offer a better value for the customer. On that same note, our alternative drink selections like our beer and our cider will have a lower margin as we're really only using that option to help get non-wine drinkers in the door. We anticipate most of our customer traffic will come after 5 p.m. during the week and after 3 p.m. on weekends. We also estimate that each customer will stay for at least an hour. This leads us to plan for two servers during weekday operations and three servers during the weekend. The founding partners will also be on a rotational call schedule to help with serving during business hours. Excellent customer service and creating customers for life will always be our priority and we're excited to roll up our sleeves and get to work. To help entice more traffic through our doors, we plan on partnering with local food truck vendors, favorites from Portland and Vancouver area. We also plan on hosting, painting lessons with wine, trivia nights, and winemaking classes. Now as we grow and scale our business, we're going to offer our customers a subscription service where they may elect to automatically order their favorite bottles on a weekly or monthly basis. They simply have to stop by the pub and pick it up. The Wine Pub will also give our customers the opportunity to participate in a social cause that gives back to the local community by supporting college grants. After our first year of operation, we plan on giving a $2,500 grant per year to local college students. Our initial survey shows that 75% of millennial wine drinkers would either love to or be likely to purchase wine from a business that supports education. From a marketing perspective, we plan to reach our customers by the best advertisement method available, word of mouth. And we do this by providing a great customer service and having our customers spread the word, which coincidentally was the most preferred method of hearing about a drinking establishment from a customer survey. Prior to opening the wine pub, we will market extensively using social media and local advertisements to build interest. After opening, our online profile will also provide an area for comments and reviews to help us adjust to customer feedback. An effort to ensure the wine pub is represented online will also be an important aspect of attracting new customers, and we have budgeted a small amount for this every month. As an alternative to the word of mouth method during operations, we will focus on low cost social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, as we establish our business, our relationships with the local wineries are key. We plan on using a lot of them to make up our wine selection. So we will ensure that we are known as a business to purchase their wine, either by the glass or by the bottle. Additionally, as our mobile food vendors rotate, they will also have an interest in advertising their location, which will increase the potential for more customers who will undoubtedly appreciate our service and offerings and become a mutual customer base. Now the Wine Pub's founding partners make up the perfect leadership team to get this business started. We have Kyle Anderson, Chad Bearden, Dan Moore, and myself. Kyle, our Director of Business Development, brings over a decade's worth of experience as a strategic business partner for one of the world's leading aerospace and defense companies. He has his experience in developing and aligning strategies and driving change within organizations. Chad, our Director of Human Resources, brings a multifaceted career with him consisting of more than 20 years of military experience. He is well versed in conflict resolution, HR management, and process improvement. Dan, our Director of Operations, brings a diverse operations and sales experience from a successful career in insurance management. He currently oversees an $11 million territory managing the operations of independent agencies and also serve as the Director of Marketing. I have over 10 years of experience managing marketing for some of the nation's most well-known transportation companies, an industry where a strong marketing campaign is needed to get ahead. Most bars where people drink wine are high-priced restaurants where customers pay over $15 for a glass or at a local bar where the staff doesn't know much about wine and really has a limited selection. The Wine Pub aims to change that. We'll appeal to the younger generation by focusing on wines that are $20 or less per bottle while still maintaining a small offering of more expensive bottles. Our survey shows that 79% of regular millennial wine drinkers purchase wine in the $10 to $15 range. 
Now our wine by the glass will have the largest profit margin and will be more than the wine by the bottle. Bottle wine or wine by the case is considered a bulk purchase and we feel should offer a better value for the customer. On that same note, our alternative drink selections like our beer and our cider will have a lower margin as we're really only using that option to help get non-wine drinkers in the door. We anticipate most of our customer traffic will come after 5 p.m. during the week and after 3 p.m. on weekends. We also estimate that each customer will stay for at least an hour. This leads us to plan for two servers during weekday operations and three servers during the weekend. The founding partners will also be on a rotational call schedule to help with serving during business hours. Excellent customer service and creating customers for life will always be our priority and we're excited to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Although we strongly believe in our business model, we certainly face competition in the marketplace and it is important to recognize how they threaten our success. We anticipate direct competition from local restaurants, wineries, and local bars. Now, there are a variety of local restaurants in the Salmon Creek community and they range from quick fast food to five course meals. And typically, only the high-end restaurants have a decent wine offering, although they usually only provide a small selection with high prices. And for wine seekers, we feel that this is a low threat. The area has many wineries, although most of these are located outside downtown, and our customers have to drive quite a bit to enjoy them. And they really only feature their own wines, which limits the ability for customers to test different brands and types. And we found that the atmosphere at these wineries are usually designed for the wine connoisseur, which is only a small segment of the target population that the wine pub is aiming for. Although, as we grow the business, we hope to partner with the local wineries and leverage the hometown craft craze that's booming in the area. The Salmon Creek area is dense with many established bars. These bars focus on beer and mixed drinks and range from very laid back and relaxing to a club type atmosphere and we haven't found one that focuses more on wine than beer and mixed drinks. And it's also important to note that the majority are not actively involved in their community or provide expert service on the wine they're selling. Now local bars will be one of our main competitors since we'll be aiming at customers who enjoy wine that are currently going to these establishments. The atmosphere in most of these bars do not offer a relaxing experience or wine focus, so the wine pub will have a distinct competitive advantage for our target demographic. Admittedly, this industry has low barriers to entry. When our model becomes successful, we certainly risk and anticipate our competition will mimic the wine pub. However, our efforts to create a wine culture are difficult to replicate and span beyond the pub stocking more varieties of wine. We feel confident our customer base will recognize this and remain loyal to our business. Our goal is to open the doors to the wine pub in February 2018. After securing funding, we'll sign the lease with our building, which is around 1,250 square feet, the perfect size for 75 customers with plenty of outdoor space for our food truck vendors to set up shop. We'll also sign an agreement with our distributor, Southern Glaciers Wine and Spirits, the nation's largest wine distributor who has the capacity to offer next day deliveries for any orders placed after 5 p.m. This will allow us to quickly react to any emergencies in our inventory. Our first priorities influence our business long before our doors open to the public. Hiring the right people and implementing a reliable training plan that can be replicated with consistency is at the top of our list. Our servers will have industry experience and our training plan ensures all employees can both intelligently discuss our wine offerings and pour a good glass for our customers. After opening, our priorities are to achieve substantial growth through the first three years. By focusing our efforts on the wine pub's consistent atmosphere and experience, we believe we can achieve 25% yearly growth in revenue in years one through three, growing revenues almost 100% from the day we open our doors. After gaining a significant market share, which we anticipate will happen five to seven years after opening, we will be ready for expansion into other markets. Our efforts for consistency and our customers' experiences will make us a prime candidate for franchising. Our customers will enjoy feeling like any of the different wine pubs will offer the same experience as their hometowns. To prepare for risks associated with franchising, we will draft specific conditions that require the franchise to stick to our company standards and goals. As customer consistency is so important to us, we will closely monitor customer satisfaction through reviews and scorecards. 
Additionally, our senior leadership will have frequent meetings with franchise executives to ensure operations are consistent with our corporate values. After our grand opening in February, we project monthly sales to be around $50,000. And after all disbursements, we project our net cash flows for our first year of operation to be around $5,000. Although it's important to realize that January and February have negative cash flows as we're still incurring expenses with no sales as we prepare for our opening. Despite having negative cash flow for the first two months of operations, we estimate our healthy sales projections and anticipated growth of 2% per month will allow us to reach a net worth of around $220,000 after our first year in business. To reach this level, we estimate the need to sell approximately 20 bottles and 150 glasses of wine per day. Our positive net worth is helped in part by the founders each investing $25,000 to help give us working capital through periods with sales lower than our projections. As our business gains momentum, we anticipate our net worth will increase to $380,000 by the end of our second year in business. We are seeking an investment of $150,000 to help fund our licensing, permits, building improvements, and general expenses as we prepare for our grand opening. At the end of our 60-month payback period, our investors will receive $180,600. On behalf of myself, my co-founders, Kyle, Chad, and Dan, thank you for your interest in the Wine Pub, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.